This is the latest propaganda video, very much in the form of those which brought you Jihadi John, whose real identity was Mohammed Mwazi. This time, there's an English-speaking voice, which may or may not be that of the man pictured as the narrator. Analysis suggests there are similarities to this man, Abu Rumaysa, who jumped bail in 2014 and fled to Syria with his wife and four children. I spoke with him a number of times before his escape, and phrases like British government used during those interviews have parallels with the voice on this latest ISIS video. All British government, all people of Britain, know that today your citizenship is under our feet. I think it's very naive of the government to think that they can prevent Muslims from desiring to migrate there and live under, under Islam. We asked a leading forensic voice specialist to compare both. His conclusion is that it would be foolish to reject a possible match, citing the voice quality, which he told me was very similar. Its origins, he said, were of second generation British Asian from somewhere in the southeast of England. The script follows a familiar pattern. First, goading David Cameron. But it seems that you, just like your predecessors, Blair and Brown, are just as arrogant and foolish. In fact, David, you are more of an imbecile. And then warning the Prime Minister of what was to come in 2016. We will continue to wage jihad break borders and one day invade your land. The Prime Minister himself today dismissed all of this as propaganda. Well, it's uh, desperate stuff from an organisation that really does do the most utterly despicable and ghastly acts and people can see that again today. But this is an organisation that's losing territory, it's losing ground, uh, it's I think increasingly losing anybody's uh, sympathy. The more sinister element in the video is the murder of these five hostages. They are named and accused of being British spies. Downing Street's casting doubt on those claims. Nevertheless, the 11-minute film follows the same pattern as before. Part of their campaign is to create fear in Western countries and they, they are most effective at doing that if they use people that create a, a sense of intimacy, if they use people that speak the languages of the West and where you can imagine that that would be a person from your town or your city. Abu Rumaysa fits that bill. It's a bit of a mess. This footage from a forthcoming Channel 4 documentary shows him rummaging through jihadi paraphernalia in his East London lockup in 2014. One day when the Sharia comes, you'll see this black flag everywhere. Now, at 33, he swapped a banner for a gun.